So tell me, has your week become a lot busier? As of May 11th, of course, all real estate activities have been given a green light. How has the last few days been like for you? Well, it's been good. So as of Monday, basically May 11th, we've been uh, green lighted officially to get back to business. So everything is kind of more or less uh, the way it was uh, before. So, I mean, we're, okay. we're allowed to, to resume. Okay, so you're allowed to resume, but what does that mean I I exactly? Give us more uh, a description in terms of how the activities have resumed. So basically now we're allowed to do uh, physical visits for all the properties. There's no restriction for visits, although they are recommending to maybe do like a first visit virtually and then if there's interest to go physically, but there's no restriction. So basically we're allowed to visit as we want. Uh, we're allowed to list properties fully, uh, meaning we can go on site, we can do measurements, we can take pictures, uh, we can hire a home stager, we can do open houses. So basically everything is kind of uh, green lighted, although mm -hmm. open houses uh, are still kind of not so recommended. Uh, we can do them, but they're saying, you know, uh, maybe let one person in at a time, uh, make sure the owners are not home. Uh, obviously, all the hygiene measures, uh, social distancing, all that is still very much in play. So uh, it, it's kind of yeah. the way we're going. And, and, and just coming back to the visits and the open houses, what are you gauging from your clients? Is there an uneasiness towards that or are people pretty comfortable with it? I think uh, there's still a little bit of an uneasiness uh, going into it. I think a lot of people are going to still opt to maybe do a first type of visit virtually and then go in physically if there's more interest in the property. Uh, open houses, I think it's a little bit early to jump into them too fast. So people are still on the fence. Okay. So if someone listed their property before this week, you know, before the physical visits were actually allowed, what can they do now in order to stand out? So a lot of people got got uh, properties listed during a time where we were not allowed to do visits, where uh, we were not allowed to send photographers to the property. We weren't even allowed putting up signs. So now that everything has kind of been given the go, I think it's important to go back through uh, the listing, basically the material that's been or anywhere else online and make sure that you have full pictures, make sure that your listings are very complete, uh, make sure that the, the signs are on the property because, uh, you know, prior to to Monday, we, we weren't really allowed to do it. So it's important to go back and make sure that all the information is good. Uh, and also, you know, a little trick might be to maybe, you know, do a little bit of a price reduction or maybe a temporary off market just to kind of have the listing boost back up into the mm. system so people can, can see it again. OK, and so speaking of prices, Nick, how do you see the market going in, in the next little while? Yeah, that that's the big question. You know, everyone is saying how is real estate going to be affected? I think in general, residential real estate won't be that affected. I think in the next weeks, uh, maybe a month, there's going to be a large replenish into the inventory. So a lot of new listings are going to hit the market because people have been kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. So I think uh, there will be a lot of new listings. I think residential real estate generally will recover very well. I think it'll even get back to where we were prior to this whole COVID-19 thing. Uh, as for commercial real estate, you know, I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. When we speak commercial, it's, it's a very large scope. So it can include, you know, shopping malls, strip malls, rental locales, businesses, large multi-unit buildings. Uh, I think the smaller stuff will tend to do well, smaller locales, industrial buildings, stuff like that. I'm, I'm just very curious to see how the bigger, you know, shopping malls, large apartment buildings and, and those kind of things. Time will tell. Yeah. Yeah. Time will tell. Exactly. We'll end on those words. Nicholas Marcoux, thank you so much and great seeing you. You too. Thank you.